Previously on Sailing Vessel Ramble On, we spent about five days in the calm Dana Point anchorage. We explored the town, looked at some boat Christmas lights, and got to see the Spirit of Dana Point launch right next to our boat. We also managed to get our additional solar panels wired into the system. Our next stop was San Diego and then on to Ensenada. It's another night passage. Not really night. We left about 3.30 this morning. It's Christmas Eve. We just left Dana Point. We're actually sailing. We've only got seven knots of wind or so. We're going about three knots of ground. Man, it's a bummer. We're headed to San Diego. We're going to anchor there in Mission Bay just for the night. And then tomorrow we'll hang out until mid-afternoon. And then we're going to head down to Ensenada to be there on the... 26th on Tuesday. It should be like 15 or 16 hours, I think. So that'll be overnight. And we should get there hopefully mid morning. Poor little Twitchell. I don't know why. I mean, the motion's not bad. The swell's not very big, but she just barfed out here. And then she went down inside to hunker down. So we just pulled into Mission Bay, grabbed an anchorage amongst a field of mooring balls. And then coming in right behind us is another T 37. Duchess. Good looking boat. Pretty full mooring field here. Most of this uh, place looks uh, like there's nobody on their boats actually. There's just a lot of a lot of boats tied up. We got pretty good swing radius here. We're five to one. We got 50 feet out and uh, closest boat is almost 100 feet away. And then this guy rolls in because he thinks everybody wants to hear his music. Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's right. Today's Christmas Day. Monday. Yeah. 2023. Another Tayana, Duchess, also in 1977, came, was in, was followed, basically, we came in at the same time and yeah. they pulled into uh, Mariner's Cove and they went to the other end though. Um, and then they hailed us uh, or texted us, I guess. They Actually were, shot us a message on we, instagram yeah i guess they recognized our uh boat so they knew we had an instagram and they messaged us um just to let us know that they were pretty sure the anchorage was over there but harbor patrol came by and they didn't say anything to us so. yeah i mean no no hassles no problems yeah. they seem like very nice their boat like i said it's 1977 but it looks a lot different than ours yeah a little bit yeah different teak uh which i like better yeah, there's less, less teak. of it. Less teak. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, less teak is always better. We can't check in till tomorrow, so our TIP is active starting tomorrow. So we're going to head to Ensenada. We're going to leave here in a couple hours. Uh, we went to the consulate in uh, Los Angeles and got turned away. So, wait a minute. Back up. So, beep, beep, beep. beep. Originally, I... I kind of, I guess I just kind of thought you could just, you could, it's easy to do your TIP once you get to Mexico. So I was like, we'll just do everything when we get there. And then I started kind of researching it and it's like, oh, it's actually pretty easy to do it before you leave. And you should probably should do it before you leave. It's like one of the things to do. Okay. So the reason we went to the consulate was because when you do it online, um, there's like a 10 day waiting period before they, before it's active. And it was kind of getting late in the year here and we wanted to be there before christmas yeah we were still tied up in long beach at the time yeah so i was thinking okay let's just we're close to los angeles let's go to the consulate maybe we can get it and it'll be active that day or active sooner than the 10 days so we drove all the way to los angeles and they said no you have to have an appointment and i was like how i mean there's nowhere to do an appointment on the website there's no there's nothing i mean i i looked everywhere and I even emailed some people and they're like, you got to go to the bank and, and do it. Basically do it online. So anyway, that's why there was a kind of a delay for us leaving is it was my fault. I, once I did it, I just went ahead and did it online and it was very simple. And, but 
the first day it could be active was the 23rd. So, which is a Saturday. And we were originally going to be there on the 23rd and realized, oh, wait a minute, immigration's probably not open and it's a holiday weekend. So they're not going to be open until Tuesday. So we might be quarantined until Tuesday. So why not just go just take our time and go down and on the 26th, be there on the 26th. So, okay. so anyway, that's the reason that we are not in Mexico currently. I, I screwed up the timeline for that. Yeah. We're going to a marina. Hopefully they'll help us with a check-in and that's it. Yeah, this is like one of the only anchorages, at least for sailboats, uh, in Mission Bay, number one. And two, you don't need a permit. It is, there is like a 72 hour limit, but when you go down to San Diego Bay, you have to, there's two anchorages, um, that you can get a permit online. And then the third anchorage, you have to go to the police dock and get a full inspection of your boat to get a permit. They're all free, but you can't just go anchor. When we learned to sail on San Diego Bay in 2010, um, there was, it was a, like a seven day class. It was five days of instruction and then two days on our own. And we just tootled about and then went down to Glorieta Bay, dropped Drop the a hook, hook wherever you like. Didn't think about it. And then we went up to the La Playa. Is that what it was? Yeah, there. La Playa. And Anchorage spent the night there. and dropped the hook there. We saw a wedding on a boat yeah. out in La Playa. They That's had cute. a, a full on ceremony on the back of a power boat. It was pretty cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's like no rules. I guess there's no permit. There's no nothing. You just go. I think uh, Aquatic Cove was the most interesting because it was, uh, I've never seen so many swimmers in 52 degree water. And you get down here in San Diego and I don't know, people just mostly don't get in the water. They get, no. they're, they're paddleboarding around. That's true. They're not swimming. Yeah. We saw fireworks last night. I'm guessing that's Marine Marine World over there. Oh. So that see that drop tower? Yeah. That's the one that was, they lit it up like a Christmas tree. But the fireworks were over so you can here. See the, oh, fireworks no, are over there. Oh, yeah, they're over there. You can see the uh, roller coasters and stuff over there. So, All right, we're just leaving Mission Bay. It's about 2.30, Christmas Day. We'll be in Mexico probably mid-morning tomorrow on the 26th to check in. Pray for some wind. A little bit. A little bit of wind. 690 miles, I think, is is our total so far. 690 is what we've sailed. Okay. Traveled. Traveled, yeah. I use the term sail loosely. Yeah. Sun's just going down on our run to Ensenada. The moon is up and it is full. So it's gonna be another bright sail, looks like tonight. It's a little chilly. I'm a little cold. We're about four miles from the border of Mexico in the water, whatever that means. It's an invisible line out here. Uh, we're sailing. We've been sailing pretty much since we got out of the kelp beds uh, outside Mission Bay Harbor. But we haven't had a lot of wind. We've between five and eight, really. That's about it. But we've been able to go probably averaging four knots, I would say. So not too bad. Supposedly the wind's gonna kick up a little bit here as we get farther south. There's Coronados Islands. There's two of them out here in our path that we're trying to avoid. And that's about it until we get there. Oh, I'm already sleepy. Like I guess I was gonna put my coat on, but I gave it to Twitchell. So now I don't have a coat. Rich isn't feeling good. He said, it's not motion sickness, his stomach hurts. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we're just rounding Los Coronados about 12 miles directly offshore. Right here at the tip of the North Coronado. That's actually where I got my first yellowtail spearfishing. It's a good place to dive, but we don't have time to stop here. We gotta keep making way to Ensenada. We're about 23 miles into a, I don't know, about 76 mile passage is the way we kind of plotted it out. And we're making some, making some way sailing, averaging about four and a half knots. We had some periods where we were making five and a half to six and a half a little bit, but the wind's starting to die off a little bit. Well, we're 79 and a half miles into an 80 mile passage and uh, we made it to Ensenada. We're just outside the harbor there. Yeah, we've been going, we've been in idle forward, uh, 
well, about a thousand RPMs, I guess, basically idle for like two hours because we got here and it was pitch black, uh, three o'clock, two thirty, something like that. So we've just been idling in ever since. And there's another sailboat back there. I think they picked up their pace a little bit. Well, I got to go get the lines ready. All right. Jetty's getting fenders ready. Brand new. Spanking. Of course it is. We've only been to one country since we started uh, this whole shenanigans. All right, we're checked in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so. We got our passports back. I guess that's all that matters. We went to the immigration, the port captain, and with the marina, lady from the marina, she had all our people. We actually didn't fill anything out. Like, she filled everything out for us, which is kind of nice, but. We got a passport stamped, but that's it. Like, I, don't, I have a receipt that I paid, but I don't have any, like, paperwork. So it's kind of weird. I guess maybe everything gets processed and we maybe should come back at 4.30. 4 <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe we get it then. Yeah. yeah. All right, official business conducted. This isn't even snapped on. Oh, really? No. Well, make sure it's secure. Make sure it's going the right way, too. That's upside down. That's fine. Right there. All right. Officially checked in. There's a pirate boat over here. It's like a tourist attraction. And I think it was in the marina next to our marina up in the Delta before it came here. At least there was one that looked just like it. Yeah, it was working. And, then, and he was planning to bring it to Mexico as a tourist attraction. So it might be the same one. I don't know. audio right yeah okay i guess so we're gonna go we're gonna go check out ensenada today let's do that okay Ogaza, Ogaza. Waiting for a coffee. And Jenny mangled the croissant. <laughs> I mangled it a little bit. A little flashback to our childhood. Thrifty ice cream. I wonder how much it is. Because it used to be, I think, 15 cents a scoop. <laughs> we might have to go get some. As we forget it by you, you just came out of the blue. If you only know, let's in have a cup of coffee. Let's go to a restaurant, go to a fit, pick up some strawberries. Maybe.
All right. Yeah, I'm sure we'll bump into each other soon. We get some thrifty ice cream afterwards. Is it open? Maybe. Get this ice tea, man. <laughs> it's not too bad. What is this? That's just the fish taco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You already ate the marlin. Smoked marlin. Delicious. I've already eaten one taco as well. Anthony Bourdain was not wrong. Yeah, apparently Anthony Bourdain uh, visited this place. Actually, the street cart uh, right outside it said, like, best, uh, street food oh, best street food in the world. Yeah. And this is the. This is the. They only have the mothership. They only have the, the tostadas over there, though. Yeah. yeah. If you want a taco, you have to come to the restaurant. Video capturing the terrifying moment there in Pierpont Beach Gores slammed into by a massive rogue wave yesterday morning. The explosive wave washes away cars and people and then smashes through windows of beachfront buildings and hotels. It forced many people to run for their lives. Originally, we were only going to be in Ensenada for two nights. However, storms in the North Pacific were creating unprecedented waves all down the coast of California and into Mexico. We decided to wait it out and do a bit more sightseeing and boat chores. I'm gonna pick up some fish. Oh, we go do laundry. Thank you. Okay. The rock. That looks nice. Baba Matica Lisa. Next time on SVRO. Baja Naval, the marina we were in, was exposed to all the boat traffic in the harbor and the crazy swell that was pounding the coast. After three nights, we decided to move to Cruiseport Marina, which had more protection. We wanted to get fuel, so attempted to make a run to the only fuel dock in the Ensenada area and Marina Coral. With waves breaking across the marina entrance, we turned around and headed for Cruiseport. We felt a bit of a wobble in the steering on the way and found a surprise wrapped around our prop. We're just gonna try a six day haul down the coast. It'd be the longest time, the longest one we've ever done. 
After waiting on weather windows in several locations, we decided to make the long push for the Cape of Baja, California. Thank you.